Happy Wednesday, everybody. 5280 Sports Network, your morning minute. Nate Lundy, Sean Drotar. Thanks for uh, stopping by and uh, checking out some of the news and notes going on uh, around the uh, sports scene for Denver and the rest of Colorado. Sean, let's start here. Pro Bowl announced uh, yesterday. Three players from the Broncos roster made it. Uh, in my opinion, uh, and I think the elbow injury is what kept it, I think Derek Wolf should have been uh, selected for the Pro Bowl um, as part of all of this. I think him missing those games with the elbow is actually what hurt him. He was having a phenomenal season up until then, and I think that took him off the radar just a little bit when it came to the Pro Bowl voting. Anybody that you thought deserved to be there that didn't get selected? From the Broncos, no. Only only Wolf, and I think the injury did derail that, and probably fairly so. I think you have to be able to play. I get it. It's not as if a lot of these guys are actually going to go play in this game anyway. Right. But uh, Aqib Tlaib, Chris Harris, Von Miller obviously deserve to be there. Also worth noting, the other two members of the No-Fly Zone, Darian Stewart and T.J. Ward, both named as alternates. So right. terrific uh, recognition for the Broncos defensive backfield. No, I, I don't think, I certainly don't think anyone on offense belongs there. Right. When you look at the uh, Broncos squad, by the way, uh, in terms of Derek Wolf, I do think as we sit here this time next year, barring that he doesn't have an injury that takes him out of games, I think we'll be talking about Derek Wolf being a pro bowler as well. Um, he continues to perform at a high level. Uh, for the Broncos on defense. So I'll be looking forward to seeing his name on that list next year. Let's just get him all the way through all of the games of the season and not missing uh, any playing time uh, along the way. There was a note that came out yesterday, Sean, that Colorado State had only sold 445 tickets for their bowl game. Obviously, they're playing in Idaho. It's not that far away. And I saw some people saying that that somehow was justification for why we need to just wipe out all of these bowls because nobody cares. Where do you stand when it comes to seeing those kind of ticket numbers and what it means for whether these bowls matter? I think there are too many bowls. I mean, I enjoy them for what they are, but I think there are too many. And I think a lot of these are made for TV, let's be honest. They're television creations. And when they're not getting good fan turnouts, when you're playing in front of empty stadiums, that doesn't make very good television. So to my mind, they're not accomplishing anything they set out to do. CSU selling a number of tickets, that's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. I don't know really, honestly, who's thinking, all right, it's just a couple days before Christmas. I'm going to go up to Idaho to watch the Potato Bowl, which means essentially nothing. No, if I'm going to watch it, I'm going to sit in front of my television, save myself some money, and watch it there. So, yeah, there are too many bowls. It's, it's great that CSU's there. Wyoming plays in their bowl tonight. But to be, tr be totally truthful, these bowls don't matter, and there aren't too many of them. They need to shut it down a little bit. Well, I don't mind, actually, the bowl games that are there. It's good filler when you're trying to figure out what else but to do But that's what your... it is. It's filler. Oh, yeah, but when you're trying to figure out what to do with your family that's showing, you know, maybe, you don't, to avoid wanna, them. maybe you don't want to talk to them anymore. And you just kind of need a break, and you're like, "Hey, the, the bowl the game's on. Bowl's on. The bowl game's on. Who's playing? Don't know, but there's a bowl game on. It's a great way to be able to pass some time. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing it out there as something to be able to consider. The Avs and Nugs continue their play as well, but everything is focused on whether the Broncos can do step one of what needs to be four or five steps for them to be able to make the playoffs. Step one comes on uh, Sunday night against the Chiefs. Those preparations continue throughout the week. More on that tomorrow on the radio show as well as on 5280sportsnetwork.com and milehighsports.com. For Sean, I'm Nate. Have a great Wednesday. See you.